So this one is about the ambition of some new bucolic representatives. So first of all, I want to talk about this construction here. We'll try and establish or we'll try to establish. The first one is something that's often said in spoken English, but technically it is incorrect and it is always wrong on the GMAT. So we'll try and something that's always wrong. We'll try to establish that is correct. So first of all, we're just going to eliminate the ones that have the and in it. Second of all, I'll just mention Restriction on versus restriction for. Restriction on is correct. Restriction for is incorrect. So that's also something that eliminates some of the answers. One of the big ones here, and of course, this is one of the favorite ones on the GMAT. The GMAT loves parallelism. These Congress folks, these bucolic Congress folks, they're going to try to do two things. One action, they're going to try establishing these tighter restrictions, and the other is they're going to try encouraging more aggressive sales overseas. And so those two actions need to be in parallel. And see, we have establishing and to encourage. So that's not parallel. In D, we have to establish and encouraging. That's not parallel. And so in E, we hope everything works in E because we've eliminated everything else. But here we have to establish and to encourage, perfect parallel. We also have restrictions on. And notice we have this nice direct phrase, will be allowed to grow, as opposed to something like the monstrosity in D, capable of being grown by farmers, a horrible indirect monstrosity. So E is direct, it is sleek, it is free of grammatical errors, and it is by far the best answer choice.